Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatt with G4 Geomatics. Uh, today I'm going to show you different capabilities or different different ways of linking design data, uh, essentially stakeout data. Um, a lot of folks like to have, say, a working job and then a, maybe a separate job that houses their control data, their control files, so that they can then pull this data from a completely separate job and use it in the stakeout. So let me let me show you what I put together here. In job one, I'll go to view and edit data. I have points one through five. And you can see they all have the code CP. And I'll go here to my 3D viewer. Here they are, one through five. I'll go home. Now over here in job two, view and edit data, I have points six through 10. These are all manholes. I'll go to the 3D viewer. Here they are, six through 10. And they're separated by just a couple feet. So I'm going to press OK. Now, if I am in job one and I go to stake points, of course, it's only going to pull points one through five because these are the points that are imported into job one. You know, and the same will go as if I go into job two and I want to stake and I go into stake points there. But let's say I'm in job one and I want to utilize the data from job two, so I can do my staking. Uh, my favorite way to do it, and there are a couple different ways, but my favorite way to do it is to go here to job one, view and edit job properties, and I'll go here to linked jobs, and I will add job two. You can see job one says this is my working job, and I will add job two to it under linked jobs. There it is, job two, and it is visible. I can hit store. Now, when I go to stake points, you'll see six through 10 are now the points available for staking. Now let me go to my 3D viewer. Now these are points one through five. See how they're kind of grayed out? Uh, that is because we are linking another job. Essentially we are pulling all the data from another job for my staking, which makes the imported data in job one not accessible. And it's going to only be able to utilize the data from job two. And here they are, six through 10. Now, this is great if that's the only data you wanna be able to stake to, but let's say you wanna do a hybrid of the data. You wanna also use data from job one and job two. Well, here's how we do it. Um, first, let me lock this job real quick. Now I can't accidentally switch jobs. If you go into your job properties and you link both jobs, so let's add, and I will add job one as well job one and job two, and now store. If I go to stake points, you'll see both sets of data is now available. So they, the one through five is no longer grayed out. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to 10. Anything I store will go into this job because this is my working job, but I can now reference both sets of data. And I'm not sure very many people are aware of that, that you can link uh, both your working job and your control job, giving you access to both sets of data. So I do hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.